everybody, it's Ray. It's Life and Vibe, and I'm a trigger warning today. So I am doing a little bit of something different with my content today. I did want to go over Foodie Beauty's recent mukbang, which was the cheesy meatloaf, rice aroni, Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure what the title was, and I'm not really concerned about it either. But I did want to talk a little bit about it. It's quite an interesting mukbang to see, but I didn't actually want to show the video of her eating. I just want to talk about what she didn't talk about in this video and about how it is interesting that this is kind of her response, I think, from yesterday where she had a couple of different creators from the UK release videos regarding her problematic behavior and the type of person that she is and that she for whatever reason she probably realized that her rage if you could call it that yesterday where she talked pretty disparagingly about Kybella called her some pretty uh bad names and just went after other reaction channels and just kind of got to her kind of smug attitude self was showing the pizza box trash and all sorts of things. It was it was quite wild. Um, but she has removed that drama stream video. So she's obviously losing money because that video is down. And as of yet, I've not seen her come out with any type of live stream. But I did not want to use the video of her eating. I just have stills of hers. And uh, I'm just going to kind of summarize what she did in the live stream. And uh, that's about it. So in reality, you know, she starts out the video. She takes a beauty bite. And uh, surprisingly, she does actually eat a Brussels sprout first um, before she gets into her meatloaf. And she talks about having the meatloaf made and not having any available breadcrumbs and that she was able to get into her freezer and get the breadcrumbs and make them for her meal. And that she is obviously, I think, eating comfort foods probably things that potentially remind her of home because she had a lot going on yesterday. So I, I sometimes wonder, is that why she is eating this type of meal? She's been eating a lot of takeout, but she kind of said that she is wanting to have a little bit of taste from the home. So she's uh, eating chilies and she is looking like she is uncomfortable because the food is so spicy and hot. Told her audience she'll show them how she makes it, but then she obviously doesn't show anything. She just talks about it. She discusses whether she prefers broccoli or Brussels sprouts. And she says she prefers broccoli, but we've never actually seen her ever eat any broccoli. She talked about her love-hate relationship or that people have love-hate relationships with Brussels sprouts. And states she, could, she cooked them in butter and glazed them with barbecue sauce. She said she was craving a home-cooked meal, which I think, again, is potentially due to a number of factors. One, obviously, as I mentioned, that she had two creators with pretty decent-sized platforms release videos yesterday. And then she obviously, for whatever reason, had felt compelled to take down the video known as the drama stream. So I don't know if she realized that she could get reported on that one and potentially get a second strike on her channel, which would take her down for two weeks off the platform. And so in order to not get into too much trouble with YouTube, she just took that video down. So she decided herself to remove the content. During the video, she tries to convince us she likes Brussels sprouts <laughs> than the ones that she has. But obviously, she's covered them in butter and glazed barbecue sauce. So it's uh, not shocking that she's not enjoying them. She then um, wanted people to put in their comments the reason why people enjoy watching mukbangs. I think she's trying to validate her putting this type of content out she is looking for 
verification from them that what she's doing is correct. She said that she thinks there's three reasons why people watch mukbangs. One, they, she is trying to um, help people um, with who don't want to eat or helps people eat is what she said, which I'm not sure how that helps, but she said it helps people eat. Um, she says it's giving an opportunity for somebody to eat with someone. She also said that it deters them from eating. And then at that point she kind of laughed and, uh, I just know that she is triggering for people. So she may think that's funny. I don't particularly think so. But obviously, she wants people to put that in her comment section. So it looks like she's actually providing a entertaining video that people enjoy watching and not the triggering content for people with disordered eating. There's been a lot of people that have written in my comment sections that they really appreciate uh, spotlighting how her content triggers them and have let me know it does trigger them. So I understand your mama is saying that she does no harm to others, but there are plenty of studies that indicate otherwise. And there's more and more information about that coming through. And if you take a look at the community post, Pat Ray has very kindly listed a lot of different articles and resources and studies that people can take a look at just to verify the concerns that people have around mukbang content. Now, YouTube supposedly has a terms of service about eating disorders, but having looked into the topic a little bit further, I'm wondering if YouTube is just trying to provide lip service to Congress because a couple of years ago, all the various platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, all of these, Instagram, were all called up to Congress and were asked about how their content is harmful, especially when it comes around things with disordered eating. And so TikTok has done a little bit better job of actually taking this material down. Uh, YouTube has probably done about the worst. Uh, so it's just, I feel that terms of service that they have is just lip service. So we can keep reporting her and keep trying to have that content taken down, uh, especially if we find it's triggering for people and their recoveries. But YouTube, obviously, and somebody else always said this, it's economics over ethics. I don't think YouTube, no matter how much you plead with them to be more considerate about this type of content, they are going to seemingly do very little about it, which is a real shame. Uh, when you go to look up something like having any type of disordered eating and you actually put that in the search bar, I was looking for content that was educational and lecture based. They give a question like, yeah, do you sure that you want to watch this content? And then you say yes. And then, it, you know, gives you, you know, they also show a national helpline number uh, for people to call. <laughs> which I think is, you know, not that helpful, but that's what YouTube does. So anyway, all we can do is try to keep reminding YouTube that this content needs to come down. It, it seems like they really just don't care. So there were obviously, you know, people in the comments that kind of let her know why they watch her content. And some did say it's, they find it turns them off their food. Um, she coughs, she splutters, she noisily eats. Um, she starts to have her eyes watering because she's been eating these hot peppers. She says the hot peppers are spicy. Um, she looks like she's not very comfortable when chewing her food. I do always wonder if she has issues with her dentation. I'm sure she does because she's not seen a dentist regularly, especially during the time that she's lived in Kuwait. She has unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, and they are advised to see a dentist once every four months to make sure that they're not having any difficulties 
or any problems and she obviously is not following through with any of that uh, she then talks about some of her childhood again because she does not have any other type of conversation and she talks about having grown up and liking the type of food that she's eating now and that she likes her mum's homemade food and she likes her mum's cooking she is uh, just kind of shoveling the food in her mouth she's kind of looking at the camera and uh, there's not really much else going on in this mukbang um, she's managed to obviously eat this large plate of food in less than uh, 15 minutes it was not difficult for her to consume that much in a short period of time she puts the food in her mouth um, before even finishing the previous bite so it's just like one I mean she's still chewing and the next spoon goes or the next forkful goes in she really had nothing to say um, she's just kind of showing the food doing her beauty bites and uh, and then uh, talks about cooking half the bag of Brussels sprouts uh, she discusses that they look like little heads, cabbages. I, she talks about what she thinks the Brussels sprouts look like. It was really uh, quite boring. Uh, she verbalizes, though, that she is more full from the, this meal than she was with the pizza. She tries to explain why the pizza did not fill her due to it being white bread and it having no fiber and it just being some cheese. Um, on top of the food um, then she just kind of says um, that's pretty much it she, and then she just kind of finishes it up she did not use the tagline that she had previously been using with all her mukbangs which was I hope this makes you hungry it was just really boring <laughs> that's pretty much all that happened and I'm kind of glad it's boring I'm sure that uh, people will still watch it I don't think she's gone live yet for the day, but that kind of was all she did. So I'm kind of happy that she's not saying too much. I'm happy I have not seen her go live yet. I'm um, always happy when she's having to take content down and losing her monetization, whether that was enforced by YouTube or whether she has to take it down herself because she realizes it could get her potentially in trouble with the platform that's fine by me it really is so anyway i hope you did enjoy this quick summary um this is going out exclusively to my members first and just let me know in the comment sections down below how you found this and uh if it was enjoyable and so uh, yeah i appreciate that and thank you guys for all the support that you give this channel it's always very well appreciated and going forward i may just summarize her mukbangs this way and uh, if she has anything interesting in the live stream then we'll take a look at that but i do always want to try to make sure that we're always remembering that the reason why i've kind of switched this around is because i want to protect the recovery of other people i want to ensure that we're not normalizing these types of eating behaviors and we really just keep an eye on on foodie and how she moves forward um she's gonna probably get smug in a couple of days uh, and um i'm sure once all this uh, starts to slow down from the videos from yesterday so we'll see we'll see what she does it's getting closer to the time when she will have to take her visa run and sure there's a lot on her mind so anyway if you did like this type of content i always ask that you subscribe leave me a comment down below and i will hopefully catch you up on the next one take care guys bye